things needed. Modified roots. Roots of some plants are modified to perform additional functions. Let us study some of the root modifications and their functions. Storage of food. In plants like carrot, turnip, radish, sweet potato and beet, the roots are swollen. These are called storage roots. Additional support. If we look at a banyan tree, we can see rope-like growths hanging down from its bigger branches. Some of these growths are long, thick and penetrate into the ground. These rope-like growths are called prop roots. These prop roots act like pillars and provide additional support to the heavy spreading branches of the banyan tree. Fixation of nitrogen. Plants like peas, beans, ground nuts, moong and urad have small swellings on the roots which are called root nodules. These nodules contain rhizobium bacteria that can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil and thus make the soil fertile. Plants that contain root nodules are called leguminous plants. Breathing roots. Many mangrove plants that grow in salt lakes and marshy areas develop specialized roots called pneumatophores or breathing roots. For the purpose of breathing, such roots grow vertically upwards from the underground roots of the plant and come out of the water or marsh. Each root contains numerous pores for exchange of gases. The shoot system. It is the main part of a plant that grows above the soil. It consists of the stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. The small outgrowths on the stem of a plant are called buds. Buds are of two types, terminal buds and axillary buds. At the top of the shoot is a terminal bud. It is responsible for the vertical growth of the plant. The axillary bud is found between the stem and the leaf stalk. The axillary buds give rise to many branches of the plant. The part of a stem where a leaf arises is called node and the region of stem between the two adjacent nodes is called internode. Functions of the stem. The main functions of the stem are support. The stem bears and supports the branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It spreads out the leaves in such a way that they get proper sunlight for preparing food by photosynthesis. Conduction. The stem helps in the conduction of water and mineral salts absorbed by the roots of the plant. It also conducts prepared food from the leaves to various parts of the plant, such as roots and fruits. Don't you agree that the stem is like a two-way street? Activity 5. To show that water rises through the stem. Things needed? A glass. Water. Red ink. Blade. Stem of tube rose. Rajni Gandha or balsam with white flowers. Method Gently pull out a balsam plant or a tuberose plant with white flowers from the soil. Cut the roots with the help of a blade. Dip the base of the cut stem in a glass containing water to which a few drops of red ink have been added. Observe what happens after 24 hours. Observation. We see red colored veins on the white flowers. This shows that 
the stem has conducted the red colored water to the flowers. If we take a blade and cut through the stem, we see several tiny red spots on it. This shows that the stem contains narrow pipelines or tubes through which the colored water moved up through the stem. Conclusion The experiment shows that stem conducts water and mineral salts from the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plant.